Welcome to welcome Alexander Malonchev with his icebreaker project. Dear Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, I think I have an ambiguous word in mind whose meaning I would like you to help me to resolve. Did you know that uh, the word icebreaker means this? Who knew that? Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> My question is. As an icebreaker, what kind of ice am I supposed to break exactly before the Americans do? Maybe the ice of being scared by public speaking? Well, I have been teaching in Northwest University students for more than four years, so this year doesn't seem to apply to me. And also, when I was a student in my first university, I had once work, once worked as a banking salesperson. And when every day, several times, you enter a room full of people to whom you want to sell something that has little value even to you, your knees really start shivering. So, again, the fear of public speaking doesn't seem to apply. Maybe the fear of having not very good spoken English. Well, after graduating from an American university, several years of international research and teaching Northwest University students in English should prevent this kind of fear from appearing. Well, I read the guide on preparing an icebreaker speech. I read that I found that the guide asks you to connect, to, to have a clear connection between you and your goals. And when I started to search for this connection, the eyes of the first kind showed itself, me. And typically it is you, not other people who force you to reflect on your goals, to, to reconnect with them, and having the opportunity to prepare and give this speech has force, forcefully moved me into this mental activity of reconnecting with my goals and thoughts. The eyes of the second kind forms a hardly visible wall, transparent wall. The Nobles city became home to several communities, medical workers, Nobles University employees, Nobles University students, Technopark employees, and so forth. And these communities meet rather accidentally during the classes, exams, in the medical and sports centers, or while drinking beer in the pub. And I see the Toastmasters Club as a place that welcomes everyone who has something to do with novels. As a person who has been involved in the novels project for six years, I want its community to prosper and grow. The eyes of the third kind reminds me of a phenomenon very typical to the Russian climate. In winter, 
better if you follow the same path over and over again, day by day, it eventually will turn into ice. And you will you never know how soon this will happen. And someday you will eventually find yourself in a hospital with your knee damaged or something even worse. I think the same applies to life in general. When you stop changing your daily routine, at least in its tiny bit, it eventually hits you. And you may often hear and read about how people are afraid of change. To me, the situation is the opposite. I'm afraid of no change. I have lived in seven cities so far, located in two countries, studied in four schools, graduated from two universities, and changed five jobs. But here at Anopolis, things started settling down. And that really scares me, to be honest. And I see, firstly, the Toastmasters Club as a place that would surprise me from time to time. Surprise with engaging talks, interesting topics, and people who share my fear of not changing. Uh, thank you everyone for letting me prepare and give this.